Bosco, and I work for Ultimate Air, the manufacturer of the recuperator. I want to talk about doing space heat with the airflow from the recuperator. So uh, that was a mouthful. Um, what we're talking about is we have a small forced air device, being this unit, uh, air moving motor blowing air into the house. Why not throw some heat in there to do space heating for the house within the ductwork of the ventilation system? Uh, this is very applicable to passive house. Um, passive house strategy is to get all of the space heat within the ventilation ductwork, uh, but that is not possible if you are not going to hit passive house standard and that most generally for most <laughs> existing and and uh, new housing being built in the U.S. But uh, we can get, oh, anywhere from 5 to maybe 12,000 BTU worth of heat uh, delivered through the ventilation ductwork, depending on how big or, you know, what capacity you size that ductwork for. So um, we sell two optional accessories that you can do space heat with. One being our water to air coil module. Uh, and how this item works is very simply you are supplying hot water to this water to air heat exchanger and you are ducting it in line of the inside connection between the recuperator and where the air enters the house. So the bottom duct here, this is supply air to the house ducted directly to this, and it would be in this direction, airflow moving that way, so the filter first, and then supply air to the house. So while the unit is ventilating, running at 30, 40, 60, 100 cubic feet per minute, we can then engage our pump, or whatever means we have of delivering the hot water through this coil, and provide some space heat into that ventilation ductwork. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we have a temperature controller that we use in addition with this. You can use that to turn pump on and off. Uh, when the inside space calls for heat, you can tie it to a thermostat with your pump. Um, you can do it a multitude of different ways. I won't get into all of them. But basically, you are putting the heating element, whether it be a water air coil, a, a small heat pump coil, not that one of those is manufactured, and, and or the second option we have is straight electric resistance heat. So this is a one kilowatt or 3400 BTU uh, electric resistance heater. Again, heater would go in this fashion uh, on this duct and be tied to the thermostat at the house. So basically how this works is uh, residential, you do not want to deliver an airstream into the house that is hotter than 120 degree Fahrenheit, else it starts to burn the dust in the air, and we consider that to be not a good thing. So air that is above 120 degrees, we don't want to do. So what this thing is, is it has a self-controlled temperature loop it will pulse the heat on enough to maintain, if it can, 120 degree Fahrenheit air. So it doesn't matter what flow you're running the recuperator at, it will pulse on and off as necessary to control 120 degree F outside or leaving air temperature, which is being delivered to your house. So you can see that at 50 or 60 CFM, delivering 120 degree air versus 150 CFM of 120 degree air. There is where you change the BTU that you're putting into the house. So if you were to ramp the ventilation up to 200 CFM, you would be able to max out the 3400 BTU capacity of this guy. And all of this, there's a table in the manual about that kind of capacity. And we offer this in a 1 kilowatt version, a 110, 110 volt AC. Uh, <clears throat> has a uh, three-prong plug. 
And we also offer this in a 2.5 kilowatt, oh, just over 8, 8 or 9,000 BTU version. Okay, so those are two options for uh, stace heat delivery via ventilation ductwork.